Now, you're still watching Ways World Population Day, which seeks to focus attention on the urgency and importance of population issues, it was established in 1989 uh, by the UNFPA, that which brings its data, experience, and stories to support women and girls around the world. Now, World Population Day gives us an, uh, an opportunity to highlight the needs to advance um, gender quality to help realize the dreams of all 8 billion of us on this planet. Hi, 8 billion. That's a lot, a lot, of, That's a lot of people, man. And they say we would triple our population, especially Nigeria, by 2050. Mm -hmm. God help us. Yeah. I, hope, I hope our leaders are planning for the kind of infrastructure that would require that number of population. You know, we've they talked about population. They didn't plan before you hit 200. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, I mean, I mean, it is a valid point. There are a lot of things that need to go into planning. Um, I think, where was it we were having a conversation? I think the other day we were talking about how the assumption, actually, for me, was an assumption at the time that there were more women in the, in the world than men, but it turns out there are more men. It's so very slim. So that 8 billion is like 4 billion, 4 billion plus. But I think in the millions that follow, I think that men are like 86 million, more? women are like 12 million. So maybe mm. about 70 million difference, I think mm. it's a, or something like that. Really? Yeah, I actually for the longest time thought there were more, more women than men. But see, yeah, because that's what they always tell us now. Yeah. That's why they, they justify the same thing. Yeah. They justify <laughs> many men. <laughs> Have, so, I mean, a man having like multiple women. Yeah. Like, there are more women. In fact, that was exactly my thought <laughs> yeah. process. And then, you know, we would, again, another conversation like this, and we had to check, and I was like, oh, actually, there are more men than women. So um, it, I like that the day focuses on, on the female gender, and we have a lot of things rooting against us. So anything that sheds light on, on the gender within the larger population, great thing. Good Absolutely. day. Absolutely. All right, so what did we find in the news? Mine, I think I'll start because it was rather sad. Mm -hmm. You know, when I see these kind of stories, I keep on wondering, like, you people already know that things like this happen, right? Why do you, why do we just make um, same errors? Like, it doesn't, it never stops. So this is a report that um, a Las Vegas toddler dies after accidentally shooting himself. I know. Oh. It is just so sad, right? This young man, oh, so um... Is two two is a two year old. His name is um, J. Deanglis um, Stevenson, right? He shot himself in the bedroom of the house close to Nellis Air Force Base. Now, according to the news source, the boy was rushed to the university uh, medical center where doctors had declared him dead. You know, on arrival. Now, mm -hmm. the Lake Las Vegas Metropolitan Police is investigating this um, incident for possible abuse and neglect. His aunt, Paris um, Box, disclosed that he was being watched by a family member while his mother was working when this shooting occurred. Um, we would um, actually call him Blue, that's what according to her, she said because of his eyes. Mm -hmm. he re he, um, she recalled oh, that um, about, about the youngster. Um, it's just sad, right? It's sad because... Um, I remember many, many years ago, because my father's brother is a soldier, so he's in the military and all of that. I think at some point in our very, very early teens or maybe early things or late adolescence or whatever, we, I had encountered a pistol. I saw a pistol, like, you know, and for some strange reason, I think when my father realized that we were all growing up and all that, so he had to, but I think he was keeping it for his brother or something, you know. A soldier, so mm. at some point they had to move that um, weapon mm. to you know a proper place where you know there were no children because it was out of curiosity. I saw a pistol, I saw bullets, you know, in a bag and all of that. It was it was hidden, you know, hidden. But you see, children, As children, curiosity, you go and do one check course. So that's where mind is just racing. Just imagine if you know we were like curious, you know, and me, a little curious with that side. But now this young boy is dead. Very, very cute boy. Very, it's a very sad story because I really say that some deaths um, they are really avoidable, mm. right? I mean, if you know that you're having a <laughs> when children are coming to my house, like my antenna is on a lot. Like anything that would cause any form of 
even as old as my children are i still you know worry about some things not to talk of a toddler yeah. you know so for him to have been able to access that gun first of all it's possible that it is within reach it's not something that he had to maybe climb to get and all of that it's just really sad mm. um, my heart goes out to their family right it's it's really devastating it's such a young life you know just cut short and I believe that in cases like this, you know, whether you like it or not, negligence, even though people will say that, but there's some level of negligence. Mm. You can't you can't equate a toddler's death, you understand, to nothing else because it's because somebody wasn't watching. And yeah. that's why it didn't happen. Yeah. True. Very sad. Extremely. Let me come to you, um, Jennifer. <sighs> that's such a sad news. So the chairman of NDLEA, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, has ordered nationwide clampdown on illegal sale and use of laughing gas. So laughing gas contains um, nitrous oxide. It's a colorless gas um, that is commonly used for sedation and pain relief, um, mostly used by dentists and uh, medical professionals to sedate their patients undergoing operation or undergoing any uh, minor medical um, procedure, right? Um, so what has been um, identified or noticed is that a lot of youths and even adults have been using the laughing gas. So basically what they do is that they transfer the gas from the container into a balloon, which they tend to put in their mouth and inhale for euphoric effects. So basically, it makes them high, just takes them to a certain level where um, they just feel some, some level of highness, right? But then, with all of these comes a side, um, a side effect, like headache, lightheadedness, um, hallucination, being unconscious, disorientation, fainting spells, and even suffocating. So now the agency is saying that measures have been, um, have been put in place to make sure that anyone who is caught taking this, um, taking this gas or even selling it will be persecuted. Hmm. And even looking at this, right, I, I've seen a lot of pictures going online um, where um, youths or teenagers are in parties and you can see them just holding the balloon close to their mouths, even in clubs. You see them posting it on Snapchat where they're actually taking it in clubs. Um, I think yesterday, was it yesterday or two days ago, a, a, a picture surfaced by Olamide where he had the balloon beside him. He took a picture with himself and a girl, a white babe, and they were both holding the balloon. So if you look down close to his leg, you would see the can that was used. And I'm like, okay. This, this this is bad. So so this is the illegal sale of a legal substance. Mm -hmm. Cause, yes. uh, yeah, because it's it's not essentially a, a drug in yes. that sense, yes. right? Uh, no, with that, what do you make the column of abuse? No, I know. Mm -hmm. So I, I essentially what I was trying to understand mm -hmm. is what, what the laws are surrounding it, right? Yes. Because um, so you're essentially clamping down on the sellers mm -hmm. not necessarily because there'd be no basis i guess if yeah. it's not an illegal mm -hmm. substance for you to arrest someone like in that picture so basically it should only right. be used for medical purposes yeah. and not so if you are selling you should sell to medical, yeah. medical so, so i'm trying to understand yes. where the mm. the enforcement side of it comes in so you're not going after the end users because there's no. no basis or premise for that you're going after the sellers mm. yeah so, okay okay i think we have ec now ec you how are you? Uh oh, can we hear you? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I trust you've been good. Yes, we are. Okay. My story is a Lagos Airport runway light stolen. <laughs> Seven suspects. <laughs> it was quite hilarious to see this um, news and it actually caught my attention because I can't understand why um, the international airport is not like it's a local airport, an international airport has its lights, runway lights stolen and it was actually perpetrated by a, a group of individuals who are also working in the airport. So I'm going to keep my story as short as possible and um, let me quickly run through what it says. It says, 
the punch, it, the star was actually coming from the punch, and it, they gathered that the, the disappearance of the, of the approach lighting systems had raised security concerns in Nigeria's busiest airport, according to a source who spoke on condition of anonymity. Um, those who carted away the lighting systems took advantage of the fact that the lighting system or the runway had been closed for three months. That actually caught my attention and it's, it's sad that the, the lights that have been stolen will be sold back to the um, airport because there is no other way that the, uh, the lights will be used. It's not going to be used on the roads of Nigeria. It's going to be used in an airport. So I hope that um, the, um, the government and the, the authorities at the airport were able to put this um, into the right perspective for individuals who have been caught. They should answer to the law and also any other individual who actually perpetrates this evil can also answer to the authorities. Mm. <laughs> Do I even have anything to say no. to these people? I don't actually. A lot be with them. I mean, it's, it's not even so much the, the people that stole. I mean, that's a problem. But it's the fact that the theft could happen where it happens. And airport is supposed to be a secure um, location. I mean, I know they said this is staff, but for you to... These are not bulbs that you just go and unscrew. But anyway, let's be nice. Let's move on. <laughs> um, so my headline says, Nigerian-based HR tech startup Propel um, raises $2.74 million in seed funding to scale its community platform. So um, the the company, or uh, no, uh, Propel, um, has raised $2.74 million to accelerate the adoption and rollout of its community as a service platform. Now founded in 2020, the startup helps multinational corporations reduce the risk of hiring remote workers from emerging markets, particularly in Africa. This one just stood out for me, you know, as future tech uh, founders, we monitor the space. We shall so, monitor. Yeah. We shall monitor. So when you see these kind of things, I think it just shows you the amount of opportunity that is out there. It's yeah. so Great much. to see that Africa, Nigeria is playing in that space. So always there's very so excited much. when I see news like this. Ah, there's so much. They say me they adopt technology for effort. They say Mbano. Now they go the thief light. <laughs> like, I don't even want to see the things that I have in my mind. Oh, me, I wait till we start to add the idea of this and that matter. So, when I saw this story, I just started laughing. I said today, I will not even say anything. What are we arguing about? There's nothing to argue about. I mean, the problems are new. No, what I talk now, you will say. No, what's the normal thing? Oh, I will say the government should have. And you will say it's the people. And No, so look, everybody has a responsibility. It's about the people. I agree with you. Yeah, so the, the people are the there. People. But there is a responsibility. Like I said, in this situation, yes. can this I, is a secure location. Can I argue with you people that it is not people. about the people? Because let me tell you, we're we're not not you. You. David, you see why I say I want to We're not people. arguing with you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't even need to argue today. The fact is, there are responsibilities. It's not your house. It's not the streets that is not guarded. It is the airport. international airport. It is a secure location. It's supposed to be. It is, thank you. It is supposed to be a secure location where people have the responsibility to safeguard it, safeguard every single content, whether living or whatever, in there. And it is not being done. So, with full chest, you can blame whoever you want to blame. Do you want to You need to see airports globally, all over the world. Like, we are still joking in this country. Even the ultra-modern airport that they claim to build. What are we talking? Like, are you people joking? And you go and you use other people's airports. I said I was going to be quiet because this sleep, I want to sleep it. I don't want anything to. I don't want anything to erase this sleep from my eyes today. <laughs> As I'm leaving, I'm going to my bed. All right, we'll take a break. Let's discuss this main matter because if I continue this one, we will not leave here. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>